Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series, well, test two of that uh, trolley that I built. Anyway, I've uh, changed out the front truck. It's the same size, but it obviously does not look the same. So I either need to find one that matches or find a cover that I can put over this one. In any case, I've got it uh, mounted temporarily to the second car. I just took the tab and slot coupler and turned it upside down so the hook is facing up and it's just hooked on the rear of the motor. Anyway, without further ado, I haven't tested this yet. Let's see how this runs. A uh, trolley, two car trolley now, made out of North Pole Express passenger cars and a Lionel rail inspection car. Zoom, zoom. Well, obviously that works, no problem at all. So, it actually looks more like a subway car than it does a trolley. Or perhaps one of the elevated trains. Turn that up a bit. Anyway, if I could find a uh, matching front truck, that would actually look alright. Or even a uh, front truck that is similar, I and mean, that one is so different than the rear one. But it is the same size. So perhaps I can look around for covers, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not gonna put a whole lot of work into this. Obviously I built this thing in the last hour or so. But it works, it actually gives you a new locomotive. So it's simple, it was easy to do, that's for sure. So as you see, the spacing is about the same. Wheels look about the same, but this one's, of course, captured in this cage where this is mounted to the, directly to the motor. So a cover over that one or a different front truck? Hard to say which one. Anyway, it uh, was an interesting project, that's for sure. It looks good. It runs perfectly. There's no problem with running it. This runs really well. So I have no idea how much weight it can actually pull. I don't want to overdose that motor. But as far as these two, it runs splendidly. We'll back up and get an overall shot of this. As you see, it definitely works, no doubt about that. So, it was fun, no doubt. So, in any case, just a uh, follow-up video. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it or pursue it, but for now, it's fun to play with. So, just wanted to do a uh, follow-up video. As I always stress, don't overlook your junk. You can mix and match stuff, and uh, I built this in less than an hour. Anyway, now I just gotta decide if I'm gonna put any work into it, what I'm gonna do with it. It does run, and it looks all right running. So if I could find a way to make this uh, match one way or the other, it actually wouldn't look too bad. It's nice and smooth, you can run it nice and slow, and that's what it's made for. As you see. I could light these now, now that I have a power source. So, in any case, just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.